Welcome back. Great news. I hit 200 subscribers. Thank y'all very much. We had one day to man, we got it. So with that being said, I want to see if we can get 100 subscribers this month of May. Let's see if we can get that up. Hey, you got to shoot for the stars, man. You know, if you shoot for the stars, you got to reach for the sun. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just seeing if you can get me on up now. I'm back with y'all today on this one. This is the Swift Community Live. You know, I do Class C, so this is my first one doing it in C class. This is the London Classic Stage 5, and um, this was my first time doing it with the community, Swift Community Live, and I'm gonna tell you what, man, it's a different race. Uh, I've done it all the time when I do Swift Community Live with the Ds, and I usually be out front all the time. This is a whole different beast. Now, I did run this race at 4.10 this morning, so I had an idea what to do on this race. And I ran it this morning with about 45 people in it. And I came in like fifth, sixth, somewhere in there. But then I ran it today and man, was it a difference. It was so many other people that kept pushing the pack that it made it really, it made it really hard to kind of stay in front but try to get the draft just right. But with all that being said, let's get into this race. You know, I don't like my intros too long. So let's get into this race. We're at five, four, three, two, one, and we're off. And as we take off on this race, we're leaving now, as we take off on this race, you can see that I had issues from the start. My fan wasn't on, first of all, and my system, for some reason, my, my sauce didn't read. So you see how far back I'm in the pack. So now I got to fight to get back up to the pack. So as I start to fight to start to get back in the pack, I'm already burning calories, trying to get back, burning energy, trying to get back into the race. I realized that my fan is not on. <laughs> now, if you look over there at my face over there, you'll see me yell in a minute, because I'm yelling to my wife to come downstairs. Luckily, she works from home to come downstairs and turn my fan on, which she did. Which, whoa, man, I'm gonna tell you what, I would have been totally out of this race if I had to stop and turn that fan on. I would have been gone. It was just, I'm not gonna lie, that was hard, man. It was just starting getting really hot. I forget how hot my room get without the fan. And uh, I'm gonna give y'all a new view of my, my gym again, cause I changed it around. I moved my gym from the room that it was in. So I have like an auditorium in my house and I moved my whole gym in there because I was overheating in the gym. No matter how many fans I had on, no matter how much I did, the air, the room was just too small. I was heating it up too much. So now you see, I worked back into the lead, worked back into the pack. I wasn't trying to lead. I was just trying to get back into the pack. My whole goal was to get back into this pack. And man, I'm telling you what, this this was a real different kind of race. You could, if you don't watch it, which I've learned on this now, if you don't watch it, just a second of not paying attention to my, my map over there, just have, you will see at one point I, I look away and I was doing something, I look away and the climb kicked in at two point right here. And without me even thinking, I fell back, you see it, I, I fall back like 50, 60, without even trying. And I was like, wow. So it's a different level of competition to see when you're doing the, the Swift community lives. It's a great thing, but like I said, it's a different kind of competition in here. I was hoping for a top 10 finish, but I, hey, 140 some C's and I came in 15th or 16th somewhere in there. I'm excited about it. I, I feel great about it. I mean, I can't complain. I led in this race a lot. I wasn't trying to lead. I'm just trying to stay in front with the pack. That was difficult. Now you can see over there, I'm not running that hard. Now what's gonna have to happen now with me is I'm gonna have to start really running my 100 mile rides now. And I'm gonna have to run them with class C, category C. I've been running the 100 mile rides in category D. I'm gonna run them with the category C, category B. Cause they run, even though it's a flat 100 miles, they run at a significant uh, amount faster. And that'll force me to get my wind even higher than what it is now. That's what I'm lacking now. And and because I can't, with me, I can't redline my numbers. My highest number on here today was, I think it was 5.5 .5 for 15 seconds. I can't redline my numbers. It's, I, I just wait too much to try to red. I probably had to put two, I probably do 15, 1600 to redline these numbers. I really do think I would have to. But I was at 5.5, .5 and I'll look on here when I go back out and look in the app and I'll point it out to y'all. But that was the that was the big thing. Now, one thing I did learn on here today, now, when you go up, I was talking about it in the other video that I ran this earlier today. But when you go up that little hill, I'll show y'all where it's at. But if you hit the draft after you get to the top of that hill, it allows you to catch up to everyone. Now, this right here was like 
anytime I just slightly stop paying attention, uh, I slightly miss a heal or something, you see how far back I fall off the pack? And I burn energy getting back up there. So I have to pay attention the whole time. There's no lack of concentration on these races with Z's. And it's gonna, I guess this is really how it's gonna start really getting with me because I, I kind of would lose, because I was riding D a lot and I was doing so much power in these flats, I could kind of let my mind drift for a moment. On here, there's no mind drifting. <laughs> there's there's no mind drifting when you ride in when you ride in when you ride with the D's. I mean with the C's. There's none. You have to pay attention the whole time. And I was kind of I, I was getting here and there, and I would let my mind kind of go. I wasn't trying, but I would kind of let myself kind of drift off for a moment, and I, I wouldn't realize it. Now, Doomsday Swifting. Uh, I know you're gonna say something about it when you see this video about me drifting off to the end. So, you know, dudes, they don't, don't, don't go off on me, man. Just look, this is my first community live and, and just bear with me. You'll see the next couple of times, whenever I can make it again, I'll do a lot better, man. So, 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 so. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is a great race though, man. I, I enjoyed the race. It was um very, I think, if I'd have ran this race yesterday, like I planned to, but on Sundays, like I said, I'm doing my homestead and I got some land getting cleared out. And um, it's kind of hard to run, especially with my wife. She's working on her PhD and she's working on her thesis and stuff for the first of the year. And I, I, when every time we get a chance to spend time together, just me and her sit back and look at TV and relax, I kind of take that chance. And at seven o'clock yesterday, she was still doing some work and with her group. And I just decided, hey, let's sit down and we watch. We've been watching Fallout and we finished up Fallout yesterday. We finished the last three episodes of Fallout. And we just kind of relaxed yesterday. And I go to bed around eight o'clock every night, 8.30. So I'm not up late at night and she's a late nighter person. So anytime we get to spend time together on Sundays, usually that's what it is. We had took care of the chickens and we had took care of, uh, I took care of some plants and stuff. And we her hung out that day. It was kind of clean of the house. So I didn't get to run this yesterday. I was planning to start running these races on Sunday, try to get one on Monday and another one in. And that way I can post all three of them as one video. And I want to get that really done from now on. I at least want to run this three, maybe four times a week. And I'm going to do the stage races. And outside of that, I have to work on my other channel because I can't do both of these and a whole bunch of other races. So I'm sticking with the races that probably be more compelling. Like I say, I did the stage, I did this, uh, the tiny races this weekend. Since I'm doing them in C, I think I'm gonna continue to do them. I just gotta pay attention to what the races are. Now, if you see this, I'm, I'm talking a lot outside of this, but if you can see this race becomes, it's not as interesting, like right here, as you hit, once you get to the second one, I start powering in so nobody leaves me. Cause if I don't watch it, the whole pack just come up on me. There's, this is what I talk about when I was always talking about catching, even on a 5%, they will walk me down and walk right past me. So it's kind of hard. And since I've been losing power with the weight loss, I have been losing power. I think Doomsday, you asked me about that. Yeah, I have been losing power. Somebody else asked. I have been losing power. I have a longer sustained power at 500, 600 watts. I can sustain that a lot longer at a high pedal rate. And I can pedal pretty decent at about 85, 90 pedals a minute. You know, I can hold 100 pedals a minute for a minute. But I can't, it's harder to hit them 11, 12, 1500 watts. It's hard to hit those now. Now, when I first started, if I, I, I may post one of my couple of my beginning videos. Me and my wife was laughing at it one last night. We watched one of my third race videos, the first video I ever posted. And me and her was laughing her last hysterically at it last night. And I may repost one of those, but you can see me hit outrageous numbers where I can't hit them numbers no more, man. There are, I know people look at the 300 watts and stuff. Man, some of the numbers I used to cook up when I was a lot heavier and I was putting down a lot more into the pedals, it's totally different than what I'm putting down now. Now, like right here in this area right here is where I was trying to pay focus. And people would disappear and I didn't want to catch up to them. I was trying to stay where I'm at. But what happened is when they disappeared and I was following them, the whole drag, my drag come off. Now look at my drag come back in. It's three, 400 watts. Now, I wanted to start this on this last lap right here. We coming back around to this last lap. What I wanted to do is when the red tarp starts right here, this red roll, this is where I wanted to start putting my power in. Man, C's do not allow that. <laughs> what Mike Tyson say, everybody has a plan until you get punched in the face. C's punched me in the face right here and they changed my whole plan. I had a whole game plan going into this one. Like I did with the tiny, so tiny races, y'all see how I built on my plan? 
I did a race this morning and I built up a plan because I, I had some difficulties in that race this morning, which I'm gonna post that one Thursday. This one won't get posted tonight. Uh, so I had a whole bunch of plans on this race. I had, I had devised a way of actually trying to place in the top 10. That's what was my goal, to place in the top 10 on this thing. So I had devised a plan that I figured that would get me up there. So that's what I was working on. Now, as you can see, I stay in the front. I'm not putting out a lot of wattage that you normally see because I'm letting the draft do all the work. I'm trying to let the draft do everything for me. The conserving of energy is the whole game plan here. Now, flash used to be really, really great for me, but the problem is now is that because I'm with a lot of C's who can accelerate to the red number, I call them red numbers. Y'all let me know them sprint numbers. Since they can hit those sprint numbers, they can put in a lot of speed where my power does keep me in the race with them. Because I can't hit them super high numbers for long anymore, it makes it a lot harder to keep up with. Now, in a smaller race where I don't have every top C in here, which you have a lot of people in this race, which Man, I, like I said, I did keep up with a lot of them and it was really great. I get to see why I stand. By the end of, by the end of summer, I want to be in that top five constantly. Top three, top five. And I'm going to make that a goal now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to increase my mileage that I'm doing. Last month, I ended, this month, I ended up doing about 200 miles. This month, last month, I did about 150, 175. I'm going to get back up to my 300, 400 miles a month starting in, in, in May. May is going to be a really good month for me to get my miles back in. So as you see, we're getting around and we're at 86%. Now, this is the last hill climb. And you see, I had to put a lot in here because I did not need them to leave me. But it's so easy for C's. You watch, I'm putting in 700 watts and they're walking past me like I'm standing still. And, and, and it's hard, that's where the hardness come in. I'm putting six, 700 watts, and they walk past me like I'm standing still. And so that becomes an issue. So now I gotta work again to get back up to the front. Now, the good thing is I've been getting a lot better shape. I'm doing a lot more rowing now because I really need it because that causes me to lose. That rowing is what helps me get my heart rate back down. Rowing is so hard. No matter how hard I ride this bike, rowing still seems three times harder. I'm just being honest with y'all. So when we come around this turn, I'm trying, this is the key right here. We come around this turn. I am constantly just trying to stay behind. I'm hoping he would stay fast in front of me, but he was slowing down and I didn't want to keep picking up the speed and I'm by myself. I did not want to be out in front by myself, but I can't slow down. Now I have a group arm around me and right here is where things get difficult because everybody's riding with me and it makes it so much harder. And I'm just like, okay, cool. I'm trying to wait till we get to the tarps, but they're pulling off really hard on here. And I have no draft on me. I wish I kept that draft for here. And you see, they come by and they just line it up. And man, whatever that fire on the ground is, if I had that, maybe that'd help me out a lot more, but look at everybody. Man, no fire flames coming off of everybody. So I'm telling you, man, I did my best. I, 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 was, I actually fell back to like 25th, but I started really pushing, trying to come up in the pack, but it's really hard. I want to say thank y'all for watching my race, man. Thank y'all for subscribing to me. Have a great day. And with that, ride on.